So today I'm talking about a P0018 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0018 code? Well, it's a crankshaft position, camshaft position, correlation, bank to sensor A. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's a crankshaft position sensor that's monitoring the crankshaft as it spins. And there's also a camshaft position sensor that's monitoring the crankshaft as it spins. And these sensors are basically just reporting back to the computer the location of the crankshaft and the location of the camshaft as they're spinning. And the computer uses this information for timing. But when you get a P0018 code, the computer's seeing that there's some kind of issue going on here, that bank two is slightly out of time, that there's some kind of issue going on here. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooting to know why. And when you have a V6 or V8 engine, you're going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder, that's going to be bank one. And then the opposite of that is going to be bank two. When bank two side of the engine is the one having the problem with this code. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0018 code? Well, the first thing to do is go check your engine oil and be sure that it's not low or really super dirty because low or dirty engine oil can affect that variable valve timing. It can cause issues and that can cause a P0018 code. So first thing to do is go check your engine oil and be sure that it's not low or really super dirty. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the variable valve timing. And this would be like a bad variable valve timing solenoid or a bad actuator or something like that. But there's some kind of component going on with the variable valve timing that's causing an issue. Oil flows through all these variable valve timing components. And this is why dirty or low engine oil can cause this code. If the vehicle had really dirty engine oil, it can clog these parts up and cause issues but these components can also fail and also cause issues. But the next thing on the list is the bad variable valve timing solenoid or actuator. And the next thing on the list that could cause this is a bad timing chain or a timing belt. If the timing chain or timing belt or like the belt tensioner that holds everything tight, if this becomes loose, which can happen if they have a lot of age on them. So for example, if the engine has a lot of mileage on it, this chain might be stretching or it might even have slipped a notch on bank two. And this would be throwing those sensors all off and causing an issue. These timing belts and timing chains, they all have timing marks on them. So all these marks need to line up. If the belt slips or the timing chain slips or if it gets stretched out and it gets off of this, then that's going to cause an issue and that could cause a P0018 code. So the next thing on the list is a bad timing chain, timing belt, or the tensioner that holds them tight. And the next thing on the list that could cause this is that there might be a bad camshaft position sensor. There might be some kind of issue going on with that camshaft position sensor and it's just reporting bad information back to the computer. You can do some tests on that camshaft position sensor and to be sure that it's good. You can also check the wiring going to it and be sure there's no issues there. You will need to get a diagram to know where that sensor is located since it can be different. It will vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the engine, different things like this. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad camshaft position sensor. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0018 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.